not only because uh, we could be left with a much weakened system, but that provides precedent for the next guy. I think discussions like this are very important. And I think Congressman Adler and other members of Congress, Republicans, should get together and speak openly and honestly about where we are right now in this country and the challenges that we face. Um, I have, I think, this developed somewhat of a reputation of being a bit outspoken at times. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been very critical. I have to remind myself also is not just be critical, but to be constructive. And because I remember when I was in government, <laughs> everybody was criticizing me, probably with you know, a fair amount of justification. But um, we need to be able to get past the problems that we face now. We need to think through how are we going to be better as a country, how are we going to uh, learn the lessons that I think have been really hard fought over the last you know, two years or so. Um, and as we were talking before, what can we do to ensure that we're not going to be facing similar types of issues like this in the future, but I, I need to do a better job personally about trying to be more positive and constructive uh, in my um, outspokenness, but I, I, I don't think we should ignore the fact that this is, in my mind, a very, very serious time, and I think the next several months are going to be very serious, and we can be facing real crises that is going to be up to individuals like Congressman Nadler and others who have the, uh, the uh, responsibility and the authority to help navigate us through some <coughs> very choppy waters. And this is where I think the public, unfortunately we've been polarized so much as a country that we need to strive to you know, bring ourselves back to the middle of it because ultimately we need to find a way that we're going to be able to um, <coughs> be a country of, of American citizens who are going to live with each other in the future. And so I, again, I, I, I give you credit and for it, and that's why I think two alumni here are willing to spend our Tuesday afternoon right after Labor Day to talk about these issues because they're so critically important. So 